Every time a YouTuber gains an opportunity to enter the mainstream, I fully back them up. Even though their content doesn't align with my tastes, I'm always happy to see someone from the internet succeed. But uh, internet people have this reputation of being extremely awkward on TV or during a live event. Yes! Oh, yes. We started to, that was awful. Uh. We started to, it turned into a high five and it just fell apart. It was, I never want to do that again. I never want to do that again. Welcome to Psych IRL, my name is Donna. First of all, I'd like to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Start your Squarespace trial today at squarespace.com slash psychirl and use code psychirl to get 10% off your first purchase. So after Tuesday's very long video, you know, the one that took me nearly a month just to finish, um, I wanted to do something a little less produced because I am a slave to the YouTube algorithm. All hail the YouTube algorithm. All right, so let's talk about why YouTubers are awesome. Word. Emma Chamberlain acts exactly how she does in her videos in real life. She actually embraces her awkwardness and enhances it through her editing. The video I have to film today is making me already upset and it's only 10 a.m. A lot of people find that this adds to the humor of her videos. What happens though when she has to do a live speech? Scared, but I just wanna say thank you guys for being so welcoming because I'm new, you know? Um, it's been great. Thanks, I guess. I love you, mom and dad. Whoa, that was just an Emma Chamberlain video without the editing. I think a lot of YouTubers come off as awkward because of the nature of how YouTube videos are made. For the most part, all the filming is done by yourself. The creator is also able to remove all the stuttering, awkward pauses, wrong choice of words, etc. They present to their viewers the best version of themselves. So when the ability to remove the awkward moments are taken away, this happens. Okay. We're, we're, we're presenting health and wellness. That's my line! We're presenting- We're the most unhealthy people here. I am very healthy and very well, so that's why I'm here to present health and wellness. Because we have a healthy relationship. Yeah. That's you. Usually turning to the internet for medical advice is a horrible idea. But these creators could get your body tight and your mind... I didn't read that one. <laughs> right. Right. Good job, babe. With a look at the streaming nominees for health and wellness, here's Nikki and Gabby. A lot of the comments say Trish is drunk. I don't know, but that was a disaster. She also looked really annoyed. Although I do believe that digital content is just as valuable as traditional media from a monetary point of view, I do think some internet stars aren't cut out for performing. And I do find that some creators take the art of performing for granted, that it's easy to win a live audience over. But some people are natural at being charismatic and quick with the jokes. Others need a little practice. And three, three two, two, one. one. Yeah. Hold up, hold up. Come on, baby. You guys know what? Come on, man. I want to see the crowd. Get it going. You could tell the camera guy is trying so hard to make this exciting for TV by showing one person flossing. Wanna come up? Everyone floss, let's get it. Come on, baby. Show me what you got. Show me what just move. If you got no one, just move. So I wanna see some movement. I'm not seeing enough movement. Oh my god. This is not that big. Woo! This is Bella, by the way, already an incredible artist. We played an amazing song. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Awesome job, everyone. Thanks, Ninja. Well, that was sad. Awesome job, everyone. No one was doing anything. I think one thing that TV people need to learn about internet people is that they see, oh, wow, this internet person is getting a lot of views, but they don't really take into consideration their demographic. Ninja's demographic is kids. Why is he performing in front of an audience that are adults? You can really see the vast difference between someone who has had experience as an entertainer in front of a live audience and a YouTuber. Now, this isn't to say that the YouTuber is bad. I mean, I'm a YouTuber. Why would I say that? It just helps me appreciate how much work people like Conan O'Brien and other comedians put in. It's a different craft. YouTubers work on editing while mainstream entertainers work on their personality. And uh, he also had a zillion kids, so I mean, yeah. Really? How many siblings do you have? I don't know, dude. The internet's too fucking weird to give out all that information. Oh, you don't uh, even want to say really? how many because you're afraid that... I think at this point we can all agree that Ethan should stop talking about it, but he doesn't. It will yeah, by all means, keep your talking privacy. about it. Is there anybody you can <laughs> cut this out? I'm honest, dude. Like, Seriously? Yeah, no, dude. I, yeah, there's fucking lunatics out there. Okay. 
Well, off the air, off the air, I'll come. <laughs> All right. Jeez. Ethan, stop. Why are you... Uh... I love how surprised he is. Jeez. Well, there's you actually, can mention the amount. Absolutely, absolutely <laughs> crazy people okay, out there. Yeah. And so Ethan has mentioned in one of his videos that a lot of his imperfections come out because he is live and he's used to making YouTube videos. What up, guys? Thank you for having me, EA. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Jesse Wellens and I am a YouTube creator. So I am here to talk about Need for Speed um, Payback. Uh, if you guys didn't know Need for Speed Payback, I'm um He was about to say, I'm bombing. You were indeed bombing. I... <laughs> yeah, it's a great game. But all right, all set aside, I'm a YouTube creator, Need for Speed Payback, it's coming out. I got my boy Marcus, executive producer here. He is the producer in the game. Thank you, Nick, for having me. Hey, man. Thanks, Jesse. Um, obviously, we're really excited. To Jesse is so disappointed in himself, and I think he made the other guy feel awkward, too. Hey, man. Thanks, Jesse. Um, but I think he pulled through in the end. And let's do one more for funsies. <laughs> Patrick Star's face, he's so annoyed. <laughs> And this guy in the background who's unsure if he's supposed to be in the picture or not. Oh well, I'll smile anyway, just in case. But first, a message from our sponsor, Squarespace. So I've been hard at work on this guy, trying to teach you how to grow your YouTube channel. And I feel like the material doesn't really fit in with my channel, so it'll be up hopefully by the beginning of April. And I used Squarespace because it had everything I needed. Beautiful, easy to use templates. They have really cool fonts that make everything just fit in with my theme. I'm also able to take existing YouTube videos and easily embed them onto my website. If you're looking to build your own website, build it today with Squarespace and start your Squarespace trial today at squarespace.com slash psychirl and use code psychirl to get 10% off your first purchase. So this video is not meant to knock on any YouTubers. I know that I can be awkward. I know I'm more of an editor. Um, that's why there's lots of editing in my videos, lots of jump cuts. I know I'm not a performer. Again, I think it just helps me appreciate people who have been in the entertainment business for years and have been working on their art of performance. YouTube is a different type of craft. It attracts a different type of person, but it doesn't mean that that person can't move into the mainstream. In fact, we see a lot of that happening today and you know, I'm really happy. That's the end of the video. I know it was a short one, but again, you know, this algorithm, I'll see you guys next time. Stay psyched.